I was uh, in a yoga class once, and the yoga teacher was reading from a book by Osho. And Osho said, uh, he said in the book, he said, uh, next next time, I don't want to I don't want to invent this. It's too it's too. Osho is absolutely bonkers. Love him, but he's absolutely bonkers. He says, next time you're very unhappy, pay attention to how you are breathing. Count, you know, how long it takes you to breathe in and out, and uh, how, you know, what the ratio between in breath and out breath is, and that sort of thing. Then, next time you want to feel unhappy, repeat this breathing strategy, and you will move magically into the into the unhappy state. He says, fortunately, this can also be done when you're happy, <laughs> when you want to be happy. But it's but it's interesting. It's as it's often as simple as how you are breathing that can affect how you're feeling. And so what I thought we'd start with today is a little bit of breathing exercises. And the one thing I'll say is these breathing exercises are not suitable for anyone that has high blood pressure. So if you have, or the first one isn't anyway, if you have high blood pressure, um, don't do this and get a yoga teacher to teach you something instead. This one's kind of, kind of weird, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, and what I'd like you to do is, uh, I'm going to get you to take a few deep breaths. If you're not used to deep breathing, just do it you know, gently and as, fill, you, fill your lungs as much as you're comfortable with. And then, after a few deep breaths, we're going to do what's called a pumping breath. And what you do with a pumping breath is you contract your abdominal muscles and expel all the air from your lungs in a sudden jolt, like... <gasps> And then, and then you just relax your abdominal muscles and your lungs will fill up again. And then you do it again. So I'll give you a quick example. It's like... This is going to be weird, by the way. I'm breathing out through, in and out through my nose. I'm going to do it about 10 or 15 times. So when you just breathe deeply through your nose. And out. And in. And then out. And then breathe out. In. Now, if you're doing it repeatedly, what they get you to do is to breathe out at the end of it, then breathe in half a breath and hold it. Now, how do you feel after doing that? It's a bit lightheaded. It'll do stuff. The, uh, in the uh, Hindu, I think it's the Hindu tradition, uh, they talk about this thing called prana, which is the life force. And you know how if you stop breathing for... 20 or 30 minutes that, uh, that bad things happen. Well, they say that you can't stop taking in prana for even a second. And that there are prana receptors in the nose, I think it is. And that this is one way of cleansing the prana and uh, getting more life force into your body. And uh, it seems to work real good. So that's one of them. That's called Kapalabhati. I do three rounds of it, so that's one round. I, I do one round, actually, usually for about 40 breaths, but I didn't want to freak you guys out too much. Uh, so I'll do about 40, 40 out breaths, then uh, breathe in and out, and then in a half breath and hold it. And then breathe out and start deep breathing again for three or four. Then do it again. And do it. So it takes about probably four or five minutes to do the whole set. And then I do this one. This is one of my favorites, and it involves, this is, well, this is my favorite, actually. It involves the ratio 2, 8, 4. What you're going to do, it's called alternate nostril breathing. You're going to, what you do is you plug up your nostrils with your thumb and your ring finger, like that. And then you're going to breathe in through your left nostril. Don't do it yet. I'm just going to demo it. You're going to breathe in through your left nostril for two. You're going to hold for eight. And then breathe out for four. Then breathe in for two, in through the other nostril for two. Hold for eight and out for four. Does that make sense? So let me show you. Be like...
And we're going to do that a few times. Does that make sense? Breathe in through one. Hold it, then out through the other. So I breathe in through the left nostril, hold it, then out through the right nostril. In through the left, in through the right nostril, out through the left nostril. So, ready? So take a couple of deep breaths first. In and out. Not like really big style, just gentle deep breaths. In and out. And then I want you to plug your right nostril and breathe in for one, two, and then hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then out through the right nostril. Three, four. Then in. Two, hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then out through the left nostril. Three, four. Then in. Two, hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then out through the left nostril, three, four, then in for two, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then out through the left nostril, three, four, and that's it, breathe normally, now I'll do that for about five minutes, do this whole piece for about ten minutes in the morning, sets me up for the entire day. Absolutely amazing. In terms of state, I, I'd be very chilled out and just very resourceful. That's a good, you know, good way for me to be. There's also getting lots of ox, get highly oxygenates your system, which is a good thing. It's a very good thing. Hmm. The other thing that this is very good for is if you do it every day. It creates a daily practice. And your neurophysiology goes, ah, okay, this is something that's the same every day. And it allows your neurology to feel free to make changes. You know the thing about familiarity? This can give your neurophysiology something to feel familiar about. And when it feels very familiar and solid with one thing, it can make changes with other, with other things more easily. So I highly recommend it. It's very, very good. 